Hey, you guys, on this lovely, thankful Thursday, um, testimonial Thursday, um, just wanted to come and share um, a message that God had dropped in my spirit in it and a testimony. Um, so, yesterday, um, I had to go to, to the doctor for my annual appointment for my thyroid. And for years, I've been having issues with my thyroid, uh, even since a little girl. Um, I've been having issues with my thyroid and then my mother my mother passed away um, in 2008 of thyroid cancer so struggling with my thyroid and having thyroid issues pretty much almost all my life has been a struggle has been a um, issue for me I would say and um, I kind of was just getting sick of it and then like I just talked to God about it like probably like two years ago the last year that I had got a biopsy was in 2000 and 21 and i had told god i was like god i am tired of getting beat by opsies trying to test and see if these different nodules are cancerous like i'm just tired of it like this is this is really um a burden for me and i'm tired of coming every six months um to get my thyroid checked because my thyroid levels and stuff was all out of way so whenever i decided my 30 um my 33 my 33rd birthday um, to be obedient to really be submitted to God. God has started giving me divine instructions about how to eat, how to change my diet, um, what to do and what not to do. Um, just little things he's been telling me um, to do as far as my health and I've been pretty much doing it. So uh, whenever I went to the doctor on yesterday, I wasn't nervous or whatever. Um, I just told God, I'm like, God, I just been obedient to your word, your will. Like, I'm expecting a good report today. So that morning, yesterday morning, I got my ultrasound done. Then I seen um, the doctor that afternoon. Um, well, I got my results before I even saw um, the doctor and I was praising God. But I, I just wanted to make sure I was reading my results right whenever, um, whenever I seen the doctor. So I went to the doctor that afternoon and the doctor had confirmed um that my nodules two like my nodules has decreased in size i had three nodules on my thyroid and they had decreased in size um ain't nobody do that y'all but god and um i was just you know thankful that they decreased in size and he pretty much said that we can continue just to do my annual checkup on my thyroid every year and he also was asking me he said what have you been doing I see where you had dropped 10 pounds since last year I was like well I just changed my diet I don't eat out like that you know I try to cook more meals from home I try to eat more healthy or whatever more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that he was like well that's you know that's very very good I'm glad you're doing that um y'all if I would not have been obedient to God that would not have happened. I, like I said, I've been going back and forth to the doctor for years. They have always increased in size. They never decreased. But because I was so submissive to God and because I was like, okay, God, I'm tired, I'm tired of dealing with this. I was obedient and followed his instructions. They decreased. So then the doctor was like, okay, we're going to get blood work done just to make sure. Um, that your levels are okay because like my levels had always been out of whack and funky got my results back from my blood work they are better they have improved since the last time um my thyroid levels was extremely low the last time they have they all my levels thyroid levels is almost back to normal ain't nobody do that but god but however, when I got there, because like when I go to Chapel Hill, I stay because I know I have a lot of series of testings and stuff I have to do whenever I go. Um, my first room, God had, the first room that I had went into, it had issues with it. Um, so they gave me another room. They gave me like a suite or whatever. And um, God had told me to look up the suite number that they had moved me to in the number, in the strong concordance. And the number that it was, was 316. Well, 316 in a strong concordance means necessary. And then when I was on my way back home and I was thinking and praising God for a good report, God told me, he said, everything I told you to do was necessary. It is necessary. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what I tell you to do. When you are obedient and you do it, it is necessary. It serves a purpose. So just wanted to come and encourage someone. 
anything that God is telling you to do in this hour, please do it because it is necessary. Maybe it's to help you strengthen your faith. Maybe it's to teach you how to decree a thing. Maybe it's to teach you that you have power. The power of life and death lies within your own mouth. Maybe it's to teach you not to waver in your faith. Maybe it's to actually really help you grow and to operate in your gifts. So whatever God is telling you to do in this hour, you guys, please do it. It might not feel good. It might not look good, but it serves a purpose. Look at Joseph. Joseph went from the pit to the palace. Actually, he went from being a slave to the pit to the palace. And if he didn't have, if he would never went through that process, he would have never got to the palace. And after he got to the palace, he lived out the rest of his years in, in royalty. Okay, so all things work together for those that love the Lord that are called according to his purpose. And even with the devil meant for bad, God can turn that thing around for our good. So do whatever God is telling you to do in this hour. It is necessary. Okay, you never know how God is going to use that thing or how God is going to use it to bless you. And your obedience is attached to your blessings too. So it is necessary. It is necessary for you to be obedient. It's nece it is necessary for your blessings to come through. It is necessary. So I just wanted to come and share that. Let that be a testimony to you guys that trust God and everything that you're doing, everything that he's telling you to do in this hour, do it because it is necessary. Okay? Because God did a thing for me on yesterday. That has never happened to me before. My nodules always grew, and now they're shrinking in size. Ain't nobody do that but God. So whatever he had told me to do, it was necessary. And all right, you guys, I just wanted to come and encourage you today that it was necessary that it is necessary be obedient and continue to trust god and i love you all and have a nice and amazing day